say. Let us have a quick recapitulation of the uh, partition of Bengal and anti-partition movement. I have already told you that Lord Curzon was the Governor General who had announced the partitioning of Bengal in the year 1905. Now, the announcement of the parti uh, partition was done on 16th July, uh, uh, sorry, 20th July uh, 1905 and uh, actually it was uh, implemented on uh, 16th October 1905. Now, Lord Curzon had given the official reason for the partis uh, partition that Bengal being a very large province, it was very difficult to rule efficiently in the eastern part of Bengal and the parts of Assam. So, uh, Assam and East Bengal would be separated from Bengal uh, province and would be uh, a, a separate uh, area um, for the better administration. That was the official reason. But actually the reason was that they, during that time in Bengal, there was a great feeling of nationalism going on uh, among the people and uh, revolutionary activities were in uh, peak. Many secret societies, I have already informed you that uh, Anushilan Samiti, Jugantar Dal, all these uh, secret societies, Shurit Shomiti, all these uh, secret societies have uh, emerged and they were inspiring the Bengali youths to participate in and train in uh, sword fighting, knife fighting, lati fighting and um, take training in shooting and making the um, bombs and all and target the uh, British officials. Uh, and uh, uh, this was a grave uh, concern for the British administration in India. And in order to uh, bring an end to the revolutionary activities and put an end to the feeling of nationalism, growing feeling of nationalism amongst the people, uh, Lord Curzon had uh, announced uh, as well as he wanted to break the unity of the people of Bengal and implement the divide and rule policy. How would the uh, unity uh, be broken? By uh, dividing the uh, two communities, uh, the Hindus and Muslims. So that was his real motive behind the announcement of partition of Bengal. Now on the day of announcement, uh, sorry, on the implementation of announcement on 16th October 1905, it, the day was observed um, as a as a great grievance for the people all over the country and uh, I told you that people in Bengal they did not cook on that day, observed the Orondhan day and Rabindranath Tagore had organized the Rakhi Bandhan Utsav or uh, Raksha Bandhan festival uh, uh, by uh, tying uh, Rakhis on each other's uh, wrists and signifying the unity of the people of Bengal. So that was the uh, way of protest. And Surendranath Banerjee, he had said that um, it was the uh, great national disaster. The partitioning of Bengal was the great national disaster. And uh, uh, the uh, barrister Krishna Kumar Mitra, he in his... Uh, journal Sanjeevani, he had uh, broached the uh, program of boycott and uh, boycott means to reject the foreign goods, the British goods and uh, the program of Swadeshi that means to bring about the national uh, integrity of Indians uh, the uh, manufacturing of the indigenous or local uh, goods made by local people, the local factories, uh, that was being promoted. 
and uh, we have seen that uh, Sharala, while I was telling you about Sharala Devi Jodhurani, that she had uh, um, uh, established Lokkir Bhandar from where these um, Swadeshi goods were uh, being sold or being distributed amongst the people. So, uh, uh, the proposal or the um, uh, and uh, the adoption of uh, boycott and swadeshi as well as the adoption of the or promotion of the national education these three were the uh, programs of the swadeshi or uh, anti partition movement now the anti partition movement had a very great uh, importance or significances uh, that it, it, it had been the, for the first time the uh, people all over India had protested against uh, a certain um, activity or, or action of the British administration and uh, it was the uh, it was the peak time it brought the peak time of the revolutionary activities in Bengal also as we have seen that uh, Anushilan Samiti, Yugandur Dal, um, Suhrit Samiti, Dhaka Anushilan Samiti, all these secret societies they were more it was uh, though partition was announced to eliminate these uh, people these uh, secret societies but it was not so um, uh, when, on the other hand the secret societies have become more act, act, uh, active. I mean, there were more attacks upon the uh, British officials due to this partitioning of Bengal. And uh, also the partition of Bengal because uh, to some extent Lord Curzon was successful in uh, breaching the harmony between the Hindus and Muslims. It is said that from this time onwards, the Hindu-Muslim um, uh, breakup had occurred. And in 1906, uh, the Nawab of Dhaka, Nawab Salimullah, he uh, had founded the um, Muslim League, another political party for the promotion of the Muslim people in India, Indian Muslims. And um, for the first time, Congress had also changed its uh, attitude. We have seen that uh, so far it was the moderate uh, attitude. They were following the policy of three Ps. But with the partitioning of Bengal, the Congress leaders have also changed their attitude and for the first time, they wanted the uh, self-dominion uh, from the British uh, administration. So, um, no, ab apart from this, uh, the partition of Bengal uh, and anti-partition movement had uh, also uh, helped in the development of the Bengali culture. It had impacted, the partition had impacted greatly in the uh, writings of the um, uh, people, the authors, they have written many uh, novels like Rabindranath Tagore, Bhare Bhaire, Gora, and then um, uh, this uh, Bankim Chandra's uh, Bande Mataram song during that time, it had become the uh, national um, theme for the uh, youths of Bengal. So, uh, uh, Abhanindranath Tagore, Gaganindranath Tagore, all uh, these people have started to um, depict the true nature of the uh, British rule through their cartoons and paintings. Abhanindranath, next we are going to learn about the painting Bharat Mata by Abhanindranath Tagore.